large family, a quiet night in. I want you all in bed early tonight, said Mrs Lodge. It's Daddy's birthday and we're going to have a quiet night in. Can we be there too? asked Laura. No, said Mrs Lodge. It wouldn't be quiet with you lot all charging around like a herd of elephants. But we are a herd of elephants, said Lester. Smarty pants, said Mrs Lodge. Come on now, coat's on, it's time for school. That evening, Mrs Lodge had the children bathed and in their pyjamas before they had even had their tea. They were all very crossed. It's only half past four, said Lester. It's not even dark yet. It soon will be, said Mrs Lodge grimly. After tea, the children set about making place cards and decorations for the dinner table. Then they all tidied up. Then Mrs Lodge tidied up again. Mr Lodge arrived home, looking very tired. We're all going to bed, said Lester. So you can be quiet, said Laura. Without us, said Luke. Shh, said the baby. Happy birthday, said Mrs Lodge. Come and see the table. Mr Lodge sank heavily into the sofa. It's lovely, dear, he said. But do you think we could have our dinner on trays in front of the TV? I'm feeling a bit tired. Of course, said Mrs Lodge. It's your birthday. You can have whatever you want. We'll help, said Luke. The children ran to the kitchen and bought two trays. I'll set them, said Mrs Lodge. We don't want everything ending up on the floor. Can we have a story before we go to bed, said Luke. Please, said Lester. Go on, Dad, said Laura. Just one story, said the baby. I'm all right, said Mr Lodge. Just one then. Lester chose a book. They all cuddled up on the sofa. Mr Lodge opened the book and began to read. One day, Binky Bus drove out of the big garage. Hello, he called to his friend Milky Milk Float. I don't like that one, said Laura. It's a boy's story. Look, said Mr Lodge. If you're going to argue about it, you can go straight to bed without any story. So they sat and listened while Mr Lodge read to them. After a while, he stopped. Go on, Dad, said Luke. What had happened after he bumped into Danny Dustcart? Did they have a fight? asked Lester. Look, said Laura, Daddy is asleep. Shh, said the baby. Mrs Lodge laughed. <laughs> Poor Daddy, she said. Never mind, we'll let him snooze a bit longer while I take you all up to bed. Will you finish the story, Mum? asked Lester. We don't know what happens in the end, said Luke. Please, said Laura. Story, said the baby. Move up then, said Mrs Lodge. She picked up the book and began to read. Watch where you're going, you silly dust cart, said Binky. Just then, Pip, the police car, came driving by. <sighs> After a while, Mrs Lodge stopped reading. What's that strange noise? asked Lester. It's Mummy snoring, said Luke. Daddy's snoring too. They must be very tired, said Laura kindly. Shh, said the baby. The children crept from the sofa and fetched a blanket. They covered Mr and Mrs Lodge and tucked them in. We better put ourselves to bed, said Lester. Come on. Shall we take the food up with us, asked Luke. It is on trays. It's a pity to waste it, said Laura. I'm sure they wouldn't mind. Anyway, they wanted a quiet night in. Shh, said the baby. Thank you.